questions. I know Christine has a question. Christine. Hi, Christine. I'll come on up to you. What's your question, Christine? Um, whenever I drink a milkshake or, you know, anything really cold, I get really bad brain freeze. So I was just wondering if there's a way to prevent it or what causes it. Yeah, and how do you get rid of it? Like, it is like, like you feel like you're going, <laughs> and you want it to go away. Right. How do you make that feeling go away? So first, let's talk about what's happening. Basically, when you eat something very cold or drink something very cold, the roof of your mouth gets cold, some blood vessels there constrict, but then when they relax and dilate, they almost overdilate. that rush, you know, sends a rush of blood to your head and it causes a headache. So what can you do? Well, first of all, if you eat or drink that cold thing more slowly, it's less likely to happen. If you put your tongue to the roof of your mouth, you can warm it up more quickly so the cold won't have as much of an effect. That could help, or drinking some warm liquid right afterwards. Okay. Yeah, I heard that, that putting the tongue in the roof of the mouth will help it. Yeah. Like, do you put the back of your tongue in the mouth? Or if like... you can really curl your tongue, sort of the... The back mm. of your tongue. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay, Stephanie has a question. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. Um, my question is, what is your funny bone, and what is the, where does the term come from, funny bone? Yeah, when you hit that thing, it's like, it ain't funny. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like... <laughs> Who's going to answer that one? I'll answer that one. Okay. So your funny bone is not a bone. Your funny bone is actually a nerve. It's the ulnar nerve. It goes right along the inside of your elbow, and it's really close to the skin and the bone, which is why you can hit it. But that's the, actual, that's the feeling that you're getting. It's the nerve going down to your hand. And the reason that that got its name is, could be because it causes the funny feeling. Also, the bone in your arm is called the humerus, which is spelled a little bit differently, but that's mm. possible. But yes, <laughs> there's the joke. What's the only bone in your body that you can't break? Your funny bone. Your funny bone. <laughs> this is not a bone. It's a nerve. Okay, is there anything that we can do? Is there anything that you... So we just learned, you know, putting the tongue on the roof of the mouth to make the brain freeze go away when the funny bone is doing that thing. Is there anything you can do to make it stop? To make it stop once yeah. you've hit it? You just kind of have, have to, to wait. You have to wait it out. Yeah. Okay. Um, Dr. Amy, um, I know a lot of people have the, heard this... Um, Wives tell, I don't know if it's true, and I hear it all the time when I go to the beach. I heard it a lot in Jamaica. But if you get stung by, yeah, Jamaica, mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been there a couple of times. <laughs> okay, I don't know what accent that was. Anyway, um, that when you get stung by a jellyfish, mm -hmm. that if you pee on it, it'll heal it. You guys heard of that? Yeah. yeah. So is that true or is that. It sounds yucky, but it works. It does? Because the pee is acidic. And it neutralizes the toxin from the jellyfish. Uh huh. Now, if you have vinegar, that'll work just as well. But in a pinch, so you pee on your works. skin, not the jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your own pee, or do you tell your boyfriend, pee on it, pee on it? <laughs> Can it be anybody's pee? It doesn't have to be anybody's your own body. Pee. Anybody's pee. Anybody's pee. Remember, it's sterile. It's you sterile. It's cup. sterile. It's sterile. Huh? Pee in a cup and then pour pee it. Pee in a cup and no, pour it on. Just have your boyfriend do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nashira has a question. Where's Nashira? Hi, Nashira. Come on over. I get it. Well, come on over. You look like Adriana Lima. <laughs> Supermodel Adriana Lima. You look like her. Oh, thank you. Um, I get hiccups all the time in the wrong, and always in the worst places, like at a job interview or at the movies. So how do I get rid of them? <laughs> wow, is it nerves? Because she says job interview. Does yeah, that you know happen? what? Nerves can actually trigger a hiccup. We don't know a lot about what causes hiccups. We, we know what's happening. It's a contraction of your diaphragm. It causes a sudden outburst of air, and that's the noise that you hear. We think it can be triggered by eating something too hot or too cold, drinking a lot of carbonated beverages, acid reflux can do it, sometimes nerves. In terms of stopping it, this is one of those areas of medicine that the old wives' tales are actually as good as it gets. We don't have a lot of great Breathing cures. in the bag and all that stuff? Breathing in the bag, drinking some cold water, um, you know, putting sugar on your tongue. And we think that this works by disrupting the nerve that affects your diaphragm. Got it. Okay. We'll be right back. Thank you, doctors. You guys. So amazing, so enlightening, right? I mean, there's all the questions that you just don't want to ask, and you guys answered all of them. We don't feel like freaks anymore, okay? Now, I know a lot of women have a lot of issues with their bodies today, and there's so much more that every woman needs to know about. So there's some things that we do every single day that could have serious consequences that could even be deadly. What are they? Go to TyraShow.com to find out. It's really important, and we'll see you later.